Thousands of people hook up to a machine for life-saving dialysis, but from that and the recovery time afterwards, activities are limited. Some patients are finding a way around that, though. Beverly Taylor shows you how. Being out with friends during the day is a treasure Esperanza Giles does not take for granted because she knows what it's like when some of that precious time is taken away. It actually drains you. Um, your energy level, there isn't one. Um, sleeping, you're sleeping to try to rejuvenate your body from the trauma, the four-hour trauma that you've had before. In 2008, Giles began dialysis four hours a day, three times a week. At first, she didn't tell anyone. Not her childhood friend, Magdalia Hernandez, no one. She just disappeared. I mean, you come home and you're nauseous and you're throwing up all afternoon. When you don't feel good, it's, it's just hard to have a, a lifestyle. In June of 2009, things changed. She didn't stop dialysis. For a person with end-stage renal disease, that's not an option, unless she gets a kidney transplant. But she did start coming to Fresenia's Medical Care Milwaukee for eight hours of nighttime dialysis three times a week. It took a lot to get her there, though. If I feel like this after four hours, you expect me to go through this for eight hours? Thank you, no thank you. But this was different. Her blood, that's her blood circulating outside the body, is going through this, which is the dialyzer, and in effect getting cleaned. With each daytime treatment, you're trying to cram what the body does continuously into three to four hours. After the shorter dialysis, there's a longer recovery time. It's as if the body has trouble to adapt. With the hours more than doubled during nighttime treatment, Dr. Cohen says more filtration occurs and more waste product can be removed at a slower pace. That means it's easier on the body. Most of the nocturnal patients come about eight or so. The cutoff is 10, and at that time, the lights go out. Patients can sleep the hours away under continuous nursing care. They can either take a recliner chair, like Giles, or a bed. Those taking beds have their own linen and make their own beds just the way they like. And, of course, each station has a TV with headphones. So when somebody finishes this treatment, they can go to work. They can go to school. Or, in Giles' case, hang out with friends any day she wants. She can't say enough about it. I'm a dialysis patient, right. and the baked potato has so much more phosphorus than the boiled right. ones. My father actually is on dialysis. Is that right? Three days a week. While dining at Omega Restaurant, it came up with a waitress. Because I'm a nighttime dialysis patient. Really? And it makes, Linda, it makes so much more difference. Because you know your dad, once he gets home, he's got to lay down, he's oh, got to right. rest. He's, right. well, no, with nighttime, it makes so much more difference. I never even, I don't know if that Three times. Nice. But nocturnal hemodialysis is not for everyone. Some people can't sleep, it's not their own bed, or it's not working for them schedule-wise. But it is working for Giles. I feel so much better. I don't take as much medicine. Just after 3 a.m., it's rise and shine for Giles. I'm going to um, enjoy the rest of my day. It's been a good night. We'll see you Thursday. I know. Bye-bye. In Milwaukee, Thank Beverly you. Taylor, Fox 6 News. Typically, nocturnal dialysis is covered by both Medicare and private insurance. For more information about it, the pros and the cons, we put some links on our website, fox6now.com.